get all ready, loosened up. That's how I get loosened up. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, where we cook up dishes from RecipesThatCrock.com, that is my wife's cooking blog, where we have well over 400 recipes now and counting. And one of the recipes that we're cooking from today is called Crock Pot Cheeseburgers. Now, this isn't like make up a patty, put it in a crock pot and cook it up. No, no. It's kind of like a cheeseburger version of a sloppy joe. Yeah, it's a cheesy joe. A cheesy, hey, we should have called we it that. We should have called them cheesy joes. Your dog is being noisy. Go, away, go in there, go, get in there. Little tap dancer. Hold me close, the tiny dancer. Go, Oh get. my. go. Alright, let's go, we're gonna lose, I don't know, whatever it is, discs. Daylight. Discs. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, I don't know who's in charge of lighting this morning, but come on. Uh -huh. One of these days I'm gonna change that plug out like you told me to two months ago. I know. One of these days. Yeah. Your future is so bright. Okay. Well, I wish I could wear shades, but you won't let me. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't even let you wear your new pretty glasses. Hey! I got new glasses, everybody. That they'll never see. <laughs> Can you see them? Can you see the... Uh-huh. It looks like strobe lights. I'm a portable ray. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> okay, right. cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. That's me, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipesthatcrock.com, which is my wife's cooking blog where we have over 400 recipes and the count is rising and today we're going to be doing a fan favorite and that would be a crock pot cheeseburger recipe now this isn't one of those where you make up the little patties and you put them in your crock pot I'm sure you could maybe we'll try it someday but today is not the day today is something that's gonna take five minutes the prep time on this the cook time all together takes 10 minutes total so this will be a very short video but very informative and i think you're gonna like it and what you need is one and a half pounds of lean ground beef you need three cloves of garlic that have been minced pressed chopped up what are you going to call it? we use now, freeze dry we you what i said we use freeze dry we use freeze dry which is what i was getting to here yes sorry the, uh, my little interjector in the back. Um, Penzi's minced garlic is what we use, so we would use how much? Oh, we don't measure when it comes to garlic. No, we, we just, just kinda toss it. it in. In. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't like unscrew the lid and go. Oh no no. No, but I'd say probably about three teaspoons would be At enough. At least, yeah. But we, like I said, we really like the garlic. And you also need a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, eight ounces of Velveeta cheese that have been cubed up and a little bit more if you want to cheese your sandwich when we do a little bit more we kind of double the cheese because we like it a cheese as much as we like it a garlic and you also need two tablespoons of milk one onion that's been finely chopped up and then of course your buns bring your buns if you know what i'm saying and then also any garnishes that you might like to have now as you can see there's no onion the garlic's right there what happened here well my wife went ahead and prepped ahead and she made up the ground beef with the onion and the garlic, the salt and the pepper. Now, if you remember from a previous recipe, we have the make ahead ground beef that already has the onion and garlic in it. What I would do is I would, if you have already made up your make ahead ground beef, do you remember that episode? If not, we will share a link and if you haven't seen it, you need to go see it because I'm in it and I'm a star. But also, <laughs> because it shows you just how quick you can make a head ground beef and it's perfect for this recipe the only thing I would do to modify it is with your make a head ground beef I would add another half an onion to get the flavor of what we're gonna have here because this is very very oniony think a slider from White Castle like a White Castle cheeseburger it's gonna taste very very similar to that but once you have your beef all cooked up with your onion and your garlic and your salt and your pepper then you simply take your cheese and you put it in with your beef. 
we like a lot of cheese. My wife's been married to me for almost 18 years. She's used to a lot of cheese. <laughs> and your milk right in there. And all that milk is going to do is kind of, I guess you want to say, lubricate things as you mix it down. And you just want to mix it up until the cheese melts. Now, I could bore you with the watching of the melting of the cheese. But you know what they say, watch cheese never melts. Her <laughs> is that what they say? Was one side, about yeah, one side note about this. Since yes. we're doing this in a six quart crock pot, and as you notice, it's not two thirds of the way full, we're probably gonna need to reduce our cooking time. Um, if, if your food doesn't fill your crock pot two thirds of the way full, or at least half of the way full, which it's almost half, usually your recipe is going to cook faster. So, especially since this has Velveeta in it, you're going to want to watch it. Um, so, I'm not sure what the site says. I want to say it says probably five hours-ish. Um, so, I would say probably, what's it say? I will look right here and tell you. Brown beef in skillet with one clove of the garlic and seasonings. Drain and mix with the remaining ingredients in the slow cooker. Cover and cook on low for five to six hours. Right. So since this is a larger slow cooker and not a smaller one, um, like maybe a four quart, you could probably get away with five hours. Um, since this is one of the bigger ones and it's all spread out, I would say I would be checking it two to three hours. Two to three hours. You heard the boss. And then one thing after almost 18 years of marriage, I've learned, listen to the boss. Now, as you can see, this is my little cute little crock pot over here. It's your lunch crock. It's my lunch pail. She already made me lunch. See, we had this for dinner last night. So it's made for a really quick shot or shooting, however you say it. We're not real, not too savvy into the whole um, Tech technical terms of everything, <laughs> but we already got some made. So I'm going to take a, my bun we have got right here, and I will grab my spoon. And we've already got some made up here in this little bitty lunch crock. And the best part is, it's kind of like um, our bacon cheese dip or a bacon cheeseburger dip that we've done. The next day it's going to be even better because all the flavors of the right. onion and the garlic and the cheese is going to mix together even better, and it's going to taste even better the next day. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'll just spread some out on my bun. Get a little bit more there. And I'll set this aside. It's really, really, really hot. And then, like I said, this is kind of like a White Castle cheeseburger. So I'm going to make it taste kind of like a White Castle cheeseburger. And I'm going to use nothing more than dill pickle for mine. If you want ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, hot sauce, barbecue sauce, whatever you like to put on burgers. Addie likes tomato and ketchup on hers. Tomato and ketchup. That's a good combination. I'm more of a traditional make it taste like a White Castle. I'm going to use dill pickle. Now, a couple weeks ago I went to a, an event downtown Indianapolis and they featured a lot of Indianapolis uh, or the local Indiana Indiana, Indiana food and crafts and arts and things like that. Um, my buddies from Circle City Beer Company were there. Keeps my beard shiny and soft. And also I ran into a guy from Indiana Pickle Company and no this is not a paid post. They're not telling me to do this. I was just really impressed by their pickles. In fact, I think they're a real big deal here in Indiana. Oh my. But uh, it's called, an in it's the Indiana Pickle Company is the name of the company, and this is their moonshine pickle. It's an Indiana style whiskey pickle. It's pickles that have been brined using a little bit of local hooch, and I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to take my pickle, and I'm just, yeah, just going to use my finish because I can't. It's my house, so I can do this. If I come over to your house, I'll use a fork. Can I come over for dinner sometime? Especially if you're making these cheeseburgers. We can't see your cheeseburger in frame. You can't see my cheeseburger in frame? Oh, well. Ta da! There it is. Sorry about that. You should have spoke. I wonder why you was waving. I just thought you were telling me a good job or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, here it is. It's just your crock pot cheeseburger with a little bit of whiskey pickle. Now, if you don't have whiskey pickles, let's say you're not in Indiana and you haven't heard of these guys, check them out. They're really good. Um, 
just reuse regular dill pickle. It's going to taste kind of like it does, I hope, on a White Castle. So now we will give it the official taste test. <laughs> I'm having a moment here. I'll just wait while you chew. <laughs> That's really good. Now, my whiskey pickles are a little sweet, so it's not quite like the dill from a um, White Castle, but I'm totally cool with that because they're really good pickles. But yeah, it tastes like a White Castle cheeseburger. It's got that sweet oniony flavor. It's got the cheese, of course, and the beef. But it's really, really simple to put together, and it'll make you very happy. It's, it'll be very filling between the cheese and the burger itself, but it's really, really good. And I'm giving this one two thumbs up and another bite because that's you know, breakfast for me. I haven't eaten yet today. Mm. And now you have it in your lunch crock and you can take it with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sharing with anybody. <laughs> That's not nice. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I'm being <laughs> totally rude right now. <laughs> mm. See how his mood has improved? <laughs> Put a little food in my belly and I'm a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to thank you guys for watching another episode from Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. That's me. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe down below. It's somewhere over here. Of course, I think it's going to be right here. See how I did that? And then also, if you would, uh, check us out at RecipesThatCroc.com where you'll find many, many, many more recipes. In fact, over 400 of them. And uh, they've been tried and true recipes that we really enjoy. And also give us a like over on Facebook at Recipes That Crock, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, again that's me, where we will show these recipes along with cover tunes, original songs, um, and other fun and silly things that the family does. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and check us out again, because we'll keep cooking if you keep watching, and all will be well. Thanks again.